Let's fix this stupid pump again. I have a whole box full of new parts. Piston supports, tubs. More piston supports, O-rings, support washers. A new pulley. So uh, I got my wrench. Yeah, that's metric. And my beard and my dog. So uh, here we go. First, we need to take these off. Now we need to loosen this. This is the base plate uh, tightener. What that does is pull the belts tight. What are you barking at? Pretty sure he's barking at a shadow. He's not the smartest, but he's a good dog. Take the belts off. Make sure this thing still spins. Now we gotta take these off. So this top piece, we'll get to see the carnage because the failure was on this side. Let's see what we can see in there. Probably not. So there's supposed to be a piston support uh, washer here, namely this guy. And there's supposed to be a whole lot more in there. So, uh, let's take it off. All right, so no carnage. Um, I'm actually kind of relieved. I don't know. There's some relief, I guess, that nothing is sheared and broken. It looks as though the bolt has just worked out. I'm gonna take this out of here. So in the United States, we use a lot of metric stuff. Bust out the wheres. Here we go. Ah, uh, that's not good. Hawk doesn't think it's good either. He wants to eat it. And you want to eat that bolt? No, you dingus. You can't eat it. So this bolt is actually supposed to be about that long, which means that it's broken off in the what's called the cam. So I guess I'm going to figure out how to get that out of there. Ah, crap. Here's all the crap out of there except the piston support ring and some seals. And uh, I don't know how I'm going to get that bolt out of there. So I guess I will have to take the whole cam out. Which is this piece here. These are piston supports, I mean piston sleeves in here, these guys. So I'll have to get the cam out of here, see if I can get that. <laughs> All right, let's take the bottom off this. So I'm gonna take the other bolt out of here and take this other piston out as well. That way we can get the cam out. See how much longer that is? There's one that's good. There's the bad one. So the only concern I have here is uh, on the other side, if I weld a nut to the top of this, I don't know about you, but to me, that looks a whole lot like copper, or at least copper coated. And it makes me wonder 
if it's steel inside there, because if it's copper, I'm not welding enough to this. Uh, I'll have to figure out some other way to get this out of there. Or I'll buy a whole new cam. And I think the cam's 100 bucks. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I got the piston cam out. And you can kind of see how it rides in there. It rides like this, right? So it has an off, uh, an eccentric cam that when the main shaft rotates, let's see if I can rotate it here. Sorry, my hands are greasy and I don't want to get my phone all greasy, but see how that rotates? So it moves this cam up and down. Now about the cam. So you can see on the one side here it's empty. Give it a rotate. And the other side still has that bolt in it. But uh, the saving grace here is there's a hole on the other side. It's kind of hard to see in that one because it's full of grease. There's a hole on the other side. So, what I might be able to do is drill a hole through it and then jam something into it and then back it out. But we'll see. I'm going to get this cleaned up so that I can work on it. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to weld a nut to the top of this. Um, and not actually to the cam itself, but to the bolt that's in there and try to turn it out. So that's probably what I'm going to try first because that's super easy and I have a welder and, uh, you know, I got a few nuts. Come on now. See you in a while. So I got my welder all set up and uh, got my ground on, welded the nut on. And now I'm going to see if it wants to come out of there. So, uh, you know, there's some luck and stuff. <laughs> ah, shit, yeah. The temptation to grab this thing with, uh, with my fingers here is, uh, is very high. But, you know, it's like 2,000 degrees or something stupid like that. So it quickly ended up with a serious burn. So it appears as though the bolt was just copper plated, probably for anti-corrosion and anti-galling. Um, so, uh, you know, it looks like I succeeded. I don't need to buy another cam. And I think I figured out why it self-destructed last time. And it appears as though something got caught between the, one of the, like the piston support sleeve. It's like a piece of plastic or something. Man, this thing. It's like a piece of, almost like Bakelite. It might actually be Bakelite. So there we go. Well, the nut to a broke-ass screw or bolt gets it right out because what you're doing is you're heating it up as well and causing parts to expand and release the grip on the bolt. So, in the words of a great man, great success. Also, Herbazine, the hang leg sleeve of lizard. Another great quote from another great man. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, great success. I got my bolt out. And uh, it looks like I can rebuild my pump. So, I'll turn this off and uh, I will see you in a bit. All right. So I got my cam back in, 
I got my piston sleeves back in. Uh, the piston sleeve had to come out so that I could get the piston, uh, well the cam, sorry, the cam back in there. So now what we need to install first is one of these, but since I have four new ones, I'm going to use a new one. So we have right here four new ones. So this was called a support washer, and that goes on first. Uh huh. Okay. So that's in there. And then we have these things, and they are carbon guides. So that's why they flake off, they're not bake of light, they're carbon. So that goes on next. So let's put that in there. So if you look at this, you can see it's very shiny. It looks like a pencil lead. And what that means is we need to be very careful putting it into there so that it doesn't jam or nick as I drop it in. So I can tell you now that the last one that was in there, this one, did not go in and come out as easy as that. Uh, you can see all the shit broken off of it. That's because I had to hit it to get it out of there. It was so frozen. And I think that's what caused my failure. Because it didn't. It went up and didn't come back down. So, yeah. Uh, so the next thing is one of these. Don't know what this is. I don't care what it is. All I know is that it goes in there. Just like that. I don't believe that it has any sort of O-ring or anything in there. I'm incorrect. So it takes an O-ring and the ceiling sleeve. And I believe I have more of those, but I'm pretty sure these are okay. So I'm going to put these back in. And I know you guys are probably like, oh my god. We're using stuff, right? Setting himself up for failure. I don't see it that way. I'm setting myself up for learning. Again, and again, and again, and again. So I'm gonna put those on there. So I don't know if you can see how that goes there, but this plastic ring is retaining the O-ring. That's how it's supposed to go, it's another seal. Uh, it's, it's difficult to keep it on there, so it takes a lot of uh, patience and careful placement and handling. So I'm gonna pop this down in there, and we should be good on this part here. Great success. That's down in there. Next comes the leather cup. So this is a leather cup. I know it doesn't look like leather but that's because it's filthy. So if we get one of these, you can see that they are leather. So these are leather cups. I have another set. This will rebuild the pump, provided nothing else breaks. Uh, if these cook twice, it'll rebuild the pump twice. So the leather cup goes down in there. And then we need the cup support, which is one of these. So this O-ring on here is still all right too. So that goes in there. And then, and then, and then, we need a bolt. So this bolt looks okay. I'm trying to work this little washer down here, you can see it. This bolt looks okay, it doesn't have, I mean aside from being dirty, it doesn't have any cracks or anything like that. So we'll reuse this bolt for this side and I'll pull one out of there for the other side. So we got that bolt down in there. 
Now it's time to put the head back on. Same for the other side. We have to crank this up to TDC. And we're gonna give it a shot of some brake cleaner. A small one. Drop our support ring down in there. Carbon block. So it appears to be off center just a smidge. So I'm gonna have to fix that in a second here. So that's fixed. Now we need this guy and we need to put the rings on it. Bam, done. And we need to set it down in there again very carefully. And it doesn't want to just go in there, so with every problem such as this. Need to use a little bit of lubrication. Seems as though we're good. So next is the leather cup. So we're going to give that a little bit of lubrication too. Cup support. And now I need to steal a bolt from this pack. New bolt. Bolt is in. Now we need the head. And we want to make sure there's no rocks and crap down in here. That's stopped me up last time. back together. So now we need to get this pulley off, put that big one on. So, uh, have to undo this Allen rub screw. We ain't got to undo it all the way, just enough to hopefully, potentially get this off here. So this is going to require a big old hammer. So, uh, you know, like they do on TikTok. It actually did not require a big old hammer. Just came right off. So we're going to lube the shaft. <laughs> and then this should slide right on. Hopefully not give me a case of smash your finger. I'll have to leave this untight, that way I can adjust uh, belt alignment. So, got to put this back on the mount, and we should be able to put everything back together. And hopefully, my belts are long enough. We'll see. You know how it goes, you always forget one important piece, the mount. very important we need it to actually mount the pump and it's mounted so now we get to see if the belts are actually long enough my goodness what do you know they're long enough so now I'm going to check belt alignment and what we're looking
looking for here is actual straightness of the belt. So what you don't want is for one side to be skewed because that'll wear your belt out real quick. So uh, let me align these, tighten that up, and then we'll adjust the tightness of it. Nice and straight. Now we're going to tighten this guy. I do like that. I totally already tightened it. I just want to make it look like I tightened it. So the belts are a little bit loose. This one is loose, this one isn't. Uh, but we're straight. See now it's, it's very aligned. So now we need to bring this back and tighten it up. And we should be ready to go. We'll see. I hope we are. So this is still loose, and the reason for this, and I'm probably just going to leave this loose, it's alright, uh, is actually because the motor is skewed a little bit. Um, not a whole lot I can do on this base because of the way it is. It allows the motor to skew, but uh, should be okay. It's on. It's it's pretty tight. They say a half inch of deflection. There's hardly any deflection, so that means this belt will wear out to match this one. I just have to tighten it up again. No problem. We're done. So now we should be able to take this down there, plug it in. You need to go in the house. got angry and moved my charge pipe out so this is what happened last time and that's why it burned out it lifted out of the water and I was sucking none so got to put this back in the water and my tree moved holy shit this tree must have got really freaking angry that tree was laying across over there over that way. Wow. All right. So I think right there is probably socially acceptable. And we have a strainer now, so we're not sucking up rocks. We have a surge arrester, so we're not banging on pipes with the pump. And now there's nothing to do but hook it up. Five sixteenths. Ratchety. So I got a cam lock on this one. That's the outlet. These don't do suction. Otherwise, I'd have one on the inlet. Hope this is tight enough. Fantastic. 
gross. Ew, slimy. Anyway, we need this. And we need to plug it in. Magic. Should touch that slug. All right. A moment of something. Ah, crap. Breaker's off. I'll be right back. It was actually this breaker. I can tell you now it's already running slower. Which is what I want. I don't think we have any water yet. Put this up so much. I'm a poop, I'm that would suck. There it is. All right, guys. Did it like 30 minutes? Of course, I cut out a lot, but you know, we got water, so it took 30 minutes of your time to see water. <sighs> Look at how happy those ducks are, they could absolutely give a shit less. Princess likes it. you know thanks for watching and stuff I hope your hands are as dirty as mine and uh, have a good day